Okay, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. As you guys already know about the Brussels uh, uh, attacks this morning at the airport. Okay, so it says here, who is the man in the tan jacket? Police searching for possible suspect from the airport blast. Okay, so it says Belgium uh, federal police have issued a call for information about one man they consider to be a possible suspect in the Belgium airport attacks. Okay, they're talking about this man right here. That they, well, they don't know if these two are involved as well. They don't know. Um, let's continue. It says uh, earlier today, a spokeswoman in Belgium federal police uh, confirmed uh, to see ABC News that a picture they have released uh, shows the possible suspect uh, from the deadly blast at Brussels Main International Airport today. And uh, now they have said that they are looking for one of the three. Okay, and so they must have these two, or they must know about these two, but they don't know anything about this guy. Okay, uh, so the man that they are looking uh, for appear appears in the picture on the right in the group photo. At least one of the explosives were believed to be the work of a suicide bomber, according to a Belgium federal prosecutor. Okay. Um, it says ABC News does not have, does not yet have confirmation of their identity or which, if any, are alive. Uh, it is also unclear how police identify these individuals as the suspect. Hmm. The photo taken from airport surveillance photo uh, footage uh, shows three men walking with baggage uh, carts through the airport. Okay, it says that the airport CEO um, has confirmed that there was a third bomb at the airport that did not explode. It was neutralized by police. Uh, okay, so and then they got more news here about the first brigade was reported that 14 people were killed in the blast at the airport located in the town of uh, Z. The Ventum, um, around 8 a.m. local time. The Belgium federal prosecutor reported earlier that at least one of the explosions was the result of a suicide bomber. Uh, the blast at the airport occurred nearly one hour before the explosion at the subway station in downtown Brussels, which killed at least 20 people. Okay, it says all told. Uh, more than 180 people were injured at both the airport and the subway station. Okay, so it wasn't just the airport, it was the subway as well. Okay, um, says an ISIS-affiliated website reported today that the terror group claimed responsibility for the, for the attacks, claiming its fighters carried out the bombings against the Belgium uh, capital of Brussels uh, and a country... Uh, participating in international coalitions against the Islamic State. Okay. So, there you have it. They're looking for this guy right here. They don't know who he is. What is he up to? Is he part of this? these two? I guess they already confirmed that these two were had something to do with it, but they don't know about this guy right here uh, who looks different than these guys dressed in black. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, it's funny uh, because, not funny, but, uh, um, you know, the decoder, you know, I was, when I was listening to, uh, you know, you know how I used to post decoder stuff on uh, on our face, the Facebook page or Eyes Open back in the day. Uh, I was listening to one of the decoders. I'm not going to give his name out, but uh, and he was he was talking about uh, three, three, twenty, three, twenty three, three, twenty four. Uh, and because codes were coming up over and over again about something happening uh, between 323 to 324. Now, this happened on 322. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they, they were listening to him and they said, well, uh, he, he has a down for 323, 324. So he knows that we're about to do something. So let's do it on 322 to throw him off. You see what I'm saying? But it still, it still correlates to the dates of 323. Three to three twenty four, which he's been, uh, which he's been saying since I think December that something that was going to happen around three twenty three, three twenty four, and Belgium 
happen at 322 okay so uh this is nothing new uh when you uh you know can decode elite um propaganda and and false flags and all types of things of that nature um life becomes easy for you i mean but the decodings are hard and i do go and i do listen to him and i do watch him decode these things and it's very very difficult okay to decode these things but he does a great job he's one of the best decoders in the world some of you guys already know who i'm talking about and and some of you guys that weren't on eyes open media facebook page don't know who i'm talking about but those who were on that page you guys were able to uh see the way he decodes things and not just him but we, we had another female that was also a decoder as well and she was more of a of a, a visionary decoder um so yeah it's a uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of amazing to see something three months ago be decoded and then here it is okay uh you know, I don't know if it's real, fake, false flag, whatever the case may be, it was decoded about three months ago. So you tell me. Okay. So, so, you know, uh, we were looking for, and I was looking for 20, 322, 323, 324, and 325. I was looking in between there for, uh, for a major event to happen. And, uh, we got one on 322. Okay. So also, uh, you know, Obama is, uh, in Cuba, and he's headed down towards, uh, you know, the Antarctic area, Argentina, Antarctic area, for some reason. And I think we're going to find out very soon why Obama is was headed towards the Antarctic. Okay, uh, we we don't know what it is, but we we're going to find out soon why Obama is taking a trip down to the uh, Antarctic uh, region um, very soon. Okay, so keep your eyes open on that because uh, I know he's in Cuba and he's going to be leaving Cuba and headed down to uh, Argentina, Antarctic area. And uh, uh, there's some reason why he's going down there. We don't know. Okay, <laughs> we're going to find out in the next week or two. Okay, um, so it is what it is. Uh, other than that, they're, they're looking for this guy right here. And uh, when they find him, I guess uh, they'll see if he's part of the, the group or not. Um this this guy over here this guy this guy over here looks like uh he looks like one of the guys from the um boston uh bombing I and mean, they all look the same you know um looks like the same people over and over again but you know uh same thing can be said about black people right <laughs> we all look the same so it is what it is uh you know you got the justin bieber uh yeah haircut in the front there or at least the old justin bieber haircut justin bieber now i don't know what he looks he looks like a hippie now uh been out in la too long but uh anyways that's it it says uh so they, they're saying that these two probably are part of it and this guy they're still checking out okay so that's it for me and it was decoded about three months ago uh for 323 324 and uh, we see it on 322 okay so cool uh talk to you guys later eyes open peace out